Hello everyone. Uh, in front of you, you see three sentences, and uh, here they are. The bar ash valgite postricius, vakar ash gerte kava, ritoi ash ete i mokikla. So now, what you see, um, uh, the translations don't sound very right. This is because I have translated it word by, by word. That is, valgite, to eat, gerte, to drink, ete, to go. So in English, now I to eat breakfast, yesterday I to drink coffee, tomorrow I to go to school. So now, how do we correct these sentences? Um, first of all, uh, you have to remember that if you see te at the end of the verb, this means that it is in the infinitive form. So to you can connect the English and the Lithuanian uh, because te sounds similar to tu. To eat, valgi te. To drink, ger te. To go, e te. So this is the infinitive form. Uh, the only difference is that in English uh, we add it in front of the verb and in Lithuanian, we add it to the end of the ver uh, verb. So now, uh, there are a few things that we need to keep in mind. That is the person that's acting in the sentence. In our case, that is us, I. And the second thing that we need to keep in mind is the tense. The bar, now. Vakar, yesterday. Ritoi, tomorrow. So here, in this sentence, we have to use present tense. In the second ten uh, sentence, we need to use past tense. And in the third sentence, we need to use the future tense. So how do we choose the correct form of the verb? Let's go to the web page, that is cooljugator.com. Uh, I quite recommend it. So the first verb is Valgite. Now we remember that uh, we wanted to use the present tense for that sentence, so we're looking in this area. And also, we remember that the person that's acting in the sentence, sentence is us, I. So this means we need to use this verb, this form of the verb, us valgo. Let's go and correct it. Ash valgo. The bar ash valgo pustrichus. Now I am eating breakfast. The second sentence sentence is gerte. Let's find the forms for gerte. Again, we remember that we want to use uh, the past form, the past tense. So we are using this area, and also the person that's acting in the sentence is ash, ash gero. So this means we need to use this form of the verb. Let's go to the sentence and correct it. Ash gero. Let's change the color. I was drinking. Now, the third sentence, ate. Let's enter the word, ate. So we need the future tense, that is this area, future. And also we need the first person, that is ash, I. Ash esu. This is the correct form, ash esu. Let's correct the sentence. Ash esu. I. Tomorrow I will go to school. Okay, so I hope that makes sense now. Uh, have a nice day. Bye.